welcome back guys so in this video i'll be showing you some gameplays of dead rising part 3 doom and doom eternal running on my xiaomi pad 6 using oneplay android cloud game streaming service this service is based in india we'll be using their mumbai based server i am subscribed to one of their ali plans need to have the paid membership of oneplay and you also need to own the paid games in order to play them using this service the servers that come with the ali plans are equipped with gtx 1080 gpu connected my dual cells control to xiaomi pad 6 via bluetooth port First, I'll be running Dead Rising 3, Steam version of the game. There's the game. I have checked the setting, show gameplay setting before launch. Steam as the platform, play now. Set resolution to full HD, 60 FPS. Bitrate set to 30 megabits per second. Advanced settings. Show start setting enable, which shows the performance overlay. On screen controls disabled, start the stream. My type is connected to a 5 GHz band Wi Fi network. Airtel Extreme Fiber Broadband Connection, 100 megabits per second plan. This game was a launch title for Xbox One, survival horror game. Features big open areas filled with a lot of zombies for us to kill. Stream started, you can see the performance overlay, average latency of around 35 milliseconds, full HD resolution, FPS counter. Ok, I'll just scan the QR code using Steam's Android application in order to sign into my Steam account. Location of the server, Mumbai Maharashtra. Close the chat. Select accept, wait for the game to start, alright we are in, as far as I know by default FPS in this game is capped at 30, yeah we are getting 30 FPS so this is disappointing, it has nothing to do with one play, games internal FPS is capped at 30, I'll just increase the resolution to full HD. There you go. Graphics quality is set to high. Advanced options. No setting to change the FPS. Yeah, there is my character. Check out the input response. Gameplay is a bit sluggish as the game is running at 30 FPS, not 60 FPS. I'll pick up the canister. Let me check out the controls. Okay, just need to press the B key in order to pick up the item. Press the right trigger in order to throw the item. Turn on the flashlight. Zombies are here. Things are not looking good. So many of these zombies. Attack the zombies by pressing the square key. There you go, finally. I can drink the soft drink in order to restore my health. Get to the diner, my objective. Oh my god, what was that? An explosion. Back the zombie. Hunk of me. That zombie almost grabbed me. I think these zombies can't climb the cars. Seems to be the case. Here. My character was set on fire there. Not sure how to eat it. Okay, so just press the square key and my character ate the cookie. Health restored through the flashlight. Got the briefcase. 
<laughs> Back then. Plane is falling apart. Oh my god, so many of these zombies. They are just waiting for me. I just jumped on the cars. Oh no, I missed it. That was close. Very responsive controls. It's a pointed with the 30 FPS cap, but it's the uh, bigger part. But the game is definitely playable. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Doom 2016 Steam version of the game. Full HD resolution, 60 FPS, 30 megabits per second bitrate. Start the Steam. Sign into Steam. Launching Doom. Don't like playing first person shooters using a gamepad that too on a cloud game streaming service due to the latency factor. As far as I know this game supports both OpenGL and Vulkan APIs. Video settings full HD resolution. Anti-lacing set to TSSAA. Advanced setting by default API is set to OpenGL version 4.5. Change it to Vulkan. Ultra preset. I may have to restart the game. Let's see. Yeah. We are on planet Mars. Locked and loaded. Check out the input response. Jump down. Ouch. Straight away jump into action. Demons. Glory kills. Restore our health. Explosion did not slow down the game. We are getting a smooth 60 FPS. Yeah, game is definitely playable using one play. Don't want any input delay in a first person shooter like two. Fast pace action. So many of these demons. This creature is running away. Scared of me. Chasing these creatures. I think that's it. Killed all of them. Access denied. Key is required. So excellent performance in this game. Found a secret. I will try out Doom Eternal. Steam version of Doom Eternal. Launch the game. Same settings as before. There you go. Sign into Steam. Click on Accept here. Okay, so it seems an update is pending. There you go. Update started. Waiting for it to complete. Small update. 370 MB in size.
play sync my cloud saves downloading my saves you just need to tap on cloud status up to date there you go i'll start the game okay so the display just froze i can hear the audio game is definitely running on oneplay server nothing is being displayed on my xiaomi pad 6 you can hear the menu prompts okay now the game is working display froze again don't know what to do tried running the game multiple times could not get it working same issue i hope one play looks into it now i'll be running the next game epic games version of dying light full hd resolution 30 megabits per second bitrate survival horror game Sign into my Epic Games account. We are in the menu using the best quality PC at full HD resolution. Scroll down. Start the game. Alright, the game has started guys. Check out the input response and you can see undead waiting for me. Don't want to drop down. These creatures can't climb the car or any other vehicle. They aren't very dangerous during the daytime. Their aggressiveness increases during the night time. Objective turn the power on to unlock safe zone. Okay, I should have done that. There you go. Use. And that's it. To find a better weapon. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, now to jump, need to press the R1 key, not the X key. Get onto the building's roof and contact the GRE, alright. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. I'm trying. There you go, made it. Flashlight. Made it. Lockpick. Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor. What's with the weather? They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective Can't added. Move. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher works on this will produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. So stable 60 appears in this game. It's done. Good. Back then, Dad. I'll end the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.